Is the end near for the circus that has been the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh for the U.S. Supreme Court? Hey everybody, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. Well, on Thursday, we are at least expecting to hear from uh, Dr. Ford, the accuser of Brett Kavanaugh, and uh, Judge Brett Kavanaugh as well uh, during a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing. Two different hearings to hear uh, from these two. Uh, Dr. Ford alleges uh, that 30 years ago or 35 years ago, Brett Kavanaugh uh, attempted to sexually assault her, even though she has no evidence to back up this claim and she has no one to corroborate her claim either. No one knows what she's talking about, though a lot of Democrats and a lot of leftists absolutely believe her because she's accusing a white guy who happens to be a conservative, and so they want to say that she's absolutely believable. So she'll address uh, the Senate Judiciary Committee, and so will Brett Kavanaugh. We'll see where we go from there, and actually we'll see if it happens. Uh, if I were placing money on it, I still don't think she'll actually even show up. I think uh, that at the last minute she'll uh, decide to cancel, uh, or her attorneys will decide to cancel, and she won't testify under oath though that remains to be seen. So where do we go from there? Well, according to the Washington Examiner, Senate Majority Whip John Cornyn uh, said on Tuesday that the Judiciary Committee could hold a vote to confirm Brett Kavanaugh as early as Friday. This would be huge if true. If they actually vote to confirm Brett Kavanaugh on Friday, that means that as early as next Monday, you could see the entire Senate vote on confirming the, uh, uh, Brett Kavanaugh to the U.S. Supreme Court. If that happens, great. It needs to happen. The circus needs to be over. I've said it for days now that this circus needs to be over. Uh, though I will say on a couple of uh, different podcasts that uh, you can find uh, on my show earlier on uh, Monday, or excuse me, on Tuesday, uh, GOP spokeswoman uh, Kaylee McEnany said uh, that, that the delay has really not been all the Republicans. It's been Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski uh, that uh, have needed to feel as though everything is going okay. Uh, hopefully they are at that point. Hopefully uh, on Thursday, uh, Lisa Murkowski and Susan, Susan Collins uh, will see the writing on the wall that this has been a Democratic smear campaign against Brett Kavanaugh and that they will uh, vote to push this along, push it to the Senate, and that by October 1st, Brett Kavanaugh will be a justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, I am totally in favor of that unless we see evidence uh, pointing, uh, pointing out that he is some, uh, you know, uh, sexual assault uh, 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 perpetrator, uh, which we have not seen any evidence to point to that yet. Uh, so hopefully this will all be wrapping up soon and we'll move on to the next circus in Washington, D.C., which I'm sure will involve President Donald Trump somehow and a faux outrage uh, coming from the left towards him. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM. KFYO. Have a great day.